there's something in my nose. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia Fernandez. I hope that everyone's having a splendid apocalypse. It's been a while since I've made one of these design diaries videos and one of the reasons is I was in my last semester of school. I don't know how to even say this, but like I graduated. I feel like that was the most like underwhelming anticlimactic thing that has happened to me, but I'm graduated. I'm done with school. It's 100% done. Like my degree progress says 100% and I officially have a BFA in graphic design, which is wild. I'm not going to lie to you all. This past semester has been a lot for me and I think that's definitely uh, something we'll get more into within this video uh, because I definitely have missed just like talking into the void and just like hoping someone responds. So I am going to start with the fact that like you probably noticed already I moved to San Francisco later this summer after my internship with Facebook or Meta, sorry, and also I got the job. I got the full-time conversion or converted conversion. I converted from intern to full-time and I'm not going to start work until June. The reason behind that is that I had two start date choices and I asked my mentors, I asked like, you know, my friends and everything what they thought and they were like, Julia, you are going to work for the rest of your life. If you can afford to not start work until June, do that. And so I'm doing it. Hey Google, how many days until June 6th? June 6th, 2022 is in 152 days. So in 152 days, I will be starting work. And that means I have 152 days to genuinely just do whatever I want, which is incredibly scary, honestly, for me, because I'm definitely the type of person that runs off of like productivity and like to-do lists and just like getting purpose from productivity. That's just how I am as a person. Knowing that I am like that, I need to prepare. I need to make sure that I set myself up for success. I am wanting to, or I'm manifesting. There you go. I am manifesting more content creation this year, uh, spending more time and dedication really just like making the content I've always wanted to create. So finally, I'm just so excited to start making things for myself, for my own fulfillment, and I, that's just super exciting to me. It's very daunting, but I'm choosing to use the word excited because anxiety and excitement do something in your brain that releases the same chemical according to my therapist. There's something in my nose. I am just super hyped to do whatever I want on the internet and, and, you know, make things. I just am really excited for that. I believe somebody told me that they believe that Benjamin Franklin did this as well. Basically would time block his days with different things to do and like a schedule essentially. And so how I see it is like, I'm treating it as like a, as if I were creating my own class schedule for myself. So I'm going to do things like, do my morning routine or playing the ukulele, playing a new instrument. Um, I'm going to even spend time maybe watching crash course videos about psychology just because I've never had a psychology class and I want to learn about it. The other things that I'm super excited about are like diving back into fine art, uh, creating content in a manner that's like, I have to do this because it's, I'm dedicated. I'm super excited right now telling you about it. However, it took me a bit and a half <laughs> to get to the mindset that I'm in right now. All of this was essentially a result of me losing myself quite a bit <laughs> this past semester. I really wish that this was something that, you know, I learned from a coffee chat. I just didn't learn it until I experienced it myself. It's this idea that in the past six months, I have been dedicating really everything in my life to making sure that I get the job or I get the internship. I got the internship after I got the internship, I need to get the job. I feel like it was just like this machine of just like me making sure that I do everything right so that I am able to accomplish what I want to accomplish. The thing is like, I'm happy that I, you know, I was on that grind. I was very efficient. I was very productive and all of that. However, I thought when I was given my offer, I was going to cry of joy. I was going to be so happy and, you know, like want to celebrate and do everything of that sort. And I'm not saying that I wasn't happy. I was happy. 
However, I felt so numb at the same time. Like the offer was like another just checkbox in my to-do list. And because my whole world revolved around getting that full-time job, I didn't, I, or I couldn't even like remember the last time I did something for myself that wasn't related to work. And, and just for timeline's sake, this was the same time that I was going through a breakup and the moving to a new city and like finding new friends and stuff like that. And so I felt very lost. <laughs> that was the last thing that I thought would come out of me getting what I thought I'd always wanted. I just wanna clarify, I'm not not happy and grateful and super, you know, joyful that I got this offer because obviously I am. It's more of just like I didn't recognize the experience that I would have at the same time of not remembering who I was as a human being. Maybe it's a good time to have a break here and there and, you know, watch a movie that I love or, or, you know, just even do little things. Like, I just lost sight of the things that I valued. I've spent my entire last six months or like even more before the semester started dedicating my entire life literally to getting to this point. I'm genuinely having to proactively remind myself of the things that I valued outside from work. And that's so weird. <laughs> like I really didn't think that I would be going through this. To anybody who is on that grind, looking for internships, looking for full-time jobs, looking for any type of job, I would also challenge you to prioritize doing things that you love for the sake of your well-being. I implore you to do something every day, at least one thing every day for yourself, whether it's listening to an album that you love, going for a walk and reminding yourself how amazing the dogs are in San Francisco. Like, I don't know, do something for yourself because I was in a very dark place after I received my offer. I'm definitely in a better state of mind right now. Obviously growth isn't linear, so like I know that it's gonna ebb and flow and that's okay. The consequences of me not doing what I'm saying or what I'm suggesting is essentially a quarter life crisis. I'm 23, close enough. I wanted to share with you all that nugget of information. I wanted to say I'm very happy to be back. Please let me know in the comment section below if you want specific types of videos. I'm hoping to branch out to other types of videos. Like I say I'm a design, fashion, and lifestyle content creator, but literally I've just been doing a lot of design stuff. Like if you want lifestyle stuff, let me know. Specific videos about design, let me know in the comments below. I'm super excited to finally recognize that I can do what I love and I can, you know, prioritize myself and uh, I hope that you do the same. So have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!